All right, y'all, we're back for the fourth and final installment, okay? I hope I never have to make another one of these again. Uh, Palestinian TikTokers being racist for. All right, so I had to I had to just break it into parts because, like, I had so much to say on the third. Because the third one was supposed to be the last one. But I had so much to say to what she was saying. And then I had this one, too, and I didn't want to stretch that out. So with that being said, here's the finality of it all. Uh, there's also an extra video that kind of gives us a little hope into the future. And, uh, yeah, if you end up liking the video, like, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff. Let's get to it. So I feel like I need to make a second video to clarify a phrase that I use to describe Kamala Harris because it deserves its own attention. In my video, I described Kamala Harris as a token ethnic when describing liberals pushing for her. Here's yeah. the clip. I'm showing it because I stand by what I said, but before I explain why, <laughs> I apologize to the African American community for the use of this because it came across as an attack on her credibility as a black woman or a woman of color because she's half black, half Indian. See, see that. Oh my God. See, Brad, that just shows you don't understand how it works in America, okay? Okay, America is systemically racist, okay? Systemically. Therefore, <laughs> um, it uh if you got a little bit of black, you're all the way black. That's just it. That's just it. Okay. If you phenotypically look black, you're black. Nobody's asking deeper questions. Nobody going, so what so what are you exactly mixed with? Unless you like look like super exotic. You you have to look super exotic and Kamala doesn't. She just looks like you're every she I've seen a Kamala Harris growing up. Okay. She just looks like a black girl. Now granted, she is mixed. She's mixed with Indian. But even if I seen her in traditional Indian garb. I still would know that's a black woman in traditional Indian garb, okay? It's the same way as if there was a black woman wearing what you're wearing, ma'am. I would know she's just a black woman that's practicing being a Muslim. That's it. It wouldn't be. Like, that's how it works in America. We have a one-drop rule, okay? It stems from slavery. It wasn't our decision. Okay, they made the rules, they made the system. We're just living in it. That wasn't the case at all. I am sorry about that. My intentions with using that word wasn't to make a dig at her race or to reduce her to a race. Like, it was a dig at her position in a system that's built on white supremacy. I think it's important to highlight that words and phrases don't hold the same meaning or weight everywhere you go. Using token ethnic to refer yeah. to questionable people of colour that are in positions of power is just very casual for us to use here. As in, it... It's just... That was so insulting, bro! <laughs> she, tried to, she tried to mask that so well! And I'm listening and I'm like, yeah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Like, my mind, my mind, I had to go. Wait, uh-uh, no, 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 no. Why would you say that? Fix it. Why would you say that? That's how I felt. That's genuinely how I felt. But, hold on. She says it's very casual of them to use here. And you know what's fucking crazy? You know what's fucking crazy? <laughs> She's in Europe. She's in the UK. She doesn't even realize... She's under her own system, another system of that had this systemic racism and oppression. <laughs> she doesn't even realize it. She doesn't even realize the irony of what she's saying. It's completely ironic. Oh, we use that term here. It's a bad term. It's wrong. You shouldn't use it. It's very normal for people of colour here to refer to sellouts as token ethnics. It's the same with a lot of words. Like, I've had Americans refer to me as Paki before, and I've just never been offended by it because I... And, and oh my God, this, this woman makes it so hard for me, bro. <laughs> Look, oh my God. Uh, you know what? No, no, I'm, I'm just going to let her talk. It doesn't hold the same weight or history that it does here. 
fooling someone who has sold themselves out to a political system that is built on oppressing your people by definition makes you a token ethnic. Essentially, she she's not a oh my fucking god, she's not a sellout. She's not a sellout. Okay, newsflash, newsflash, dumb dumb, newsflash, dumb dumb. Let's 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 break this down. Newsflash, dumb dumb. So listen. To make the system better, sometimes you have to actually participate in it when you don't have the power to just not be in it at all. We do not have the power or the uh, the um, mm, there's another word for this, but we don't have the the system in place to exist comfortably without them. Therefore, since we are basically strangers in this land you know, along with most of everyone else, except the Native Americans, um, it would behoove us to actually, okay, if we can't get out, we can at least make it better. And that's all she's doing. She's just participating and trying to make it better. That would mean every black politician is a sellout by your definition, but they're not because you don't understand American politics. This is one of those things you really should have educated yourself on before getting involved. But you didn't do that. No, no, you didn't do that. You would refuse to do that. This is not of character for you. For you, it's not of character. Um, and I, I just hope you do better over time. I just hope you do better. On the face to prove that that's not the case. This is nothing to do with her blackness. I have said this about South Asians in power. I've said this about Pakistanis in power. I've said this about Muslims in power. I use that phrase in this video where I refer to a Pakistani man who happens to be the deputy head of the Reform Party. I'm going to that because they're shipping money down this road. And it's good to have a token ethnic there to prove that your party isn't racist and to push your swallow. I hold no bias in holding him accountable just because he's Pakistani. I don't care how much I might relate to you personally. I care about how I align with you politically. When I say token ethnic, that wasn't code for token black. I but see, here's the thing, though. You can say token ethnic. That is a crazy Paul. <laughs> when I say when you say token ethnic, you have to realize the context of the people in which you're speaking to. You can get away with it talking about a Pakistani and nobody's going to call you out about it. Why? Because you're talking about something that you know about. You know what I'm saying? I can't argue with you about Pac what's going on in Pakistan or what's going on in uh, 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 Palestine. You know what I'm saying? Even like that whole Middle Eastern region, if you were to say this is this thing and this how we feel about it, I would take you at your word. I would take you at face value unless... I find other information to prove you invalid. Why? Because that is this that is what you know and that is what you've kind of lived, at least as far as culturally. Um, I know you don't live there now, but uh, you know, you that's where you've lived. So, or at least you have cultural ties to to then say that about America when you have no cultural ties here, when you have no ties to black people, it just seems stupid it seems like one of those things that it's a phrase i wouldn't even use why can't you just simply just go i'm wrong this is the longest i'm wrong explanation ever all you have to do is say i was wrong i shouldn't have said it about kamala don't try and give no justification because nobody's gonna try and understand you and even watching this now i'm like i don't get it like what is there to understand? It's like it's like me trying to argue with women about something about women's rights. I should probably, or like something that I said that was like uh, overtly offensive to women. You know what I'm saying? Like in real, real, uh, really offensive. I'd have to, I'd have to go. Okay, my bad. I'm sorry. I'd have to just take it. I'd have to just take it. Cause I, I what you. And people weren't even that mad at first. People got more mad the more you talked. Literally, I'm just talking about all people of color in that position. As a British Pakistani, I'm very familiar with the game of having someone who's meant to represent me be a sellout. I've spoken about it in multiple videos. Also, also, 
Kamala that doesn't make Kamala a sellout. You're projecting that she's a sellout because of something that you're like seeing, I guess. I don't know. But that doesn't make her a sellout. You don't know what that means for black culture. She's not a sellout. She's not by definition a sellout. People that are sellouts are, um, you know, you got a, uh, what's that? What's that Supreme Court justice? That wanted to say, oh, he wanted to overturn Brown. and run. I can't remember his name. He's the only black dude. He's the only black dude there. I can't remember his name right now. Um, he looks like a, dang, I can't even remember that thing's name right now either. Um, but anyway, that the one character from the Boondocks. Uh, but with that being said, I think I think that's just just dumb of you. I think it's really dumb of you to have the try and like justify it this way. You could have, and you're like, oh well, I said this in this other video, and I said this in the other. It doesn't make it right, though. It doesn't make it right, and also, and also, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. And and this is why this is why there's a problem with the whole. Um, and I'm gonna let her talk after this. The the problem with the whole people of color. Thing because nobody has an identical experience to black people. Therefore, lumping us in with everyone else and assuming that we have a similar mindset as them is going to be fundamentally false every single day of the week. Our, our situation and our experiences are not even close to similar. Not even close. Not even close. And I've been very clear about it on my Instagram. You're a pop out, and you should be acknowledged as such, regardless of your skin color or race. I mean, she is half South Asian, and so am I. So, does that mean I'm allowed to critique her now, or to get somewhere? No. She keeps using South Asian when she's, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, you're Palestinian, right? You're 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 from Pakistan. You're from that area. That's not South. That's Middle East, bro. That's Middle East. I know you may think it's South Asian, but that's not South Asian. That's Middle East. It's Middle East. South Asia, India, uh, Taiwan, and all the rest of them. That's down there, underneath China. That is. South Asian. You're not South Asian. You're not even phenotypically South Asian. But particularly in her position, you have to sell out your morals. That's just how any system built on white supremacy works. We saw it very clearly in the UK with Jeremy Corbyn. We saw it in the US with Corrie Bush, who lost out on her position because of advocating for Gaza. I don't just mean black voters. When I say American liberals, I mean non-black people of color and white liberals who are complicit in this memification. Okay, okay, uh, okay. So look, the lady she lost her she lost her seat, and that is facts. She lost her seat, uh, Cory Bush, because she came out in support of Pal uh, Palestine. Right? She was like supporting Gaza, blah blah blah. So APEC literally threw like like seven, eight million, maybe more behind her competitor and her competitor was able to win. I mean like it's it's that's a fact. But that doesn't make Corey Bush a shell it's Corey. like I, oh my God. As VP she might I don't just mean black voters. When I say American liberals, I mean non black people of colour and white liberals who are complicit in this memification too. As BP, she might not have the influence or the power to stop A being given to Israel, but she's not really said anything that makes her any different from Biden. If you want to vote Kamala, do it. I'm not here to tell you to not vote for her and to vote for Trump. I don't care about who you vote. I said it in that video that I think they're both as bad as each other. You're a, she's a single... Here's the thing. She's not even a single issue voter. You don't live here. Just shut up. She's not even a single issue voter. She's not going to vote at all. She has no right to vote here. She's not even in America. She's not even in America, bro. She's not even in America, bro. They're not even as close to as bad as each other. 
They're not even close. Because if you let Trump get in, he literally said, yo, scorched, you can, you can annihilate, you can get him up all, out of here. Y'all would be gone. Period, dot. He don't care. Trump just outrightly says that he's going to flatten Gaza, whereas Kamala will do it, but she's just hiding behind the screen and she will do it a little less aggressively. Like I said, saying that she... See, see, even she says it. Hold on, hold on. I mean, she's not really said anything that makes her any different from Biden. If you want to vote Kamala, do it. I'm not here to tell you to not vote for her and to vote for Trump. I don't care about who you vote said it in that video that I think they're both as bad as each other and that Trump just outrightly says that he's going to flatten Gaza, whereas Kamala will do it, but she's just hiding behind the screen and she will do it a little. No, Kamala wants the violence on to stop, period. Like, no more. Like, no, we're good. We're good. The point was made. Stop. Cease and desist. Cease and desist. Stop. Stop. That's what she's at. See that stop for both of them. Just stop. I think that's okay. I think that's a way better position. I think that's a way better position. I think that's a very threading the line, threading the needle in which, you know, America has been like wholeheartedly propping up Israel. Um, I think that's a good position to have to look at the humanity and of, of Palestinians and go, yo, they're being denied their humanity. This is not good. This is not something we stand for. We don't want to be behind this. Now, granted, now, granted, could she push for like, oh, we're going to stop sending the weapons and all this other stuff? Sure. Sure. She could push for that. Or at least put rules and stipulations on when and where they can be used. Sure. She could do that. She could hold them accountable. She could. But what that does is that it, it's like political suicide almost. It's almost political suicide at this point. At this point. She's she just trying to get elected. She's just trying to get elected, baby girl. She's just trying to get elected. Let her get elected. And then you can figure out what her real stance is. You, you can't. Like, she can't say. She's trying to, she's trying to win people. You can't win people over less aggressively like i said saying that she will be good for gaza or will actually do something to help gaza is disingenuous multiple people have tried protesting at her speeches before and she shut them down i don't know how that's going to change what she's been elected a ceasefire is i my thing is this though she's trying to give a speech to the rest of the people she already met with y'all beforehand Y'all, they, y'all were in this. Y'all were in there screaming and blah 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 blah. While she's trying to give her speech, let her give her speech. She already met with y'all before this even started. She was trying to like, hey, let's talk. Your leaders talk to her. Should have been good. Should have been big thumbs up. Was wasn't good. Wasn't thumbs up. That's y'all. Y'all want even more attention because she didn't start off the speech with what y'all wanted her to talk about. No, she had her own speech. Let her get to it. Performance, but best because she doesn't support an arms embargo on Israel, and you cannot achieve a ceasefire whilst you're still selling the weapons to the perpetrators. I do think that the last so it's a catch twenty two. All right, Israel has other other enemies, other ops. Okay. To include Iran, uh, what is it, Hezbollah, and I think Hezbollah is in like what Syria or some mess like that. Um, then you have uh, then you have some other country to their north. You got another country to the east. Like they they got ops on every side. This is like being a crip, and every other block is bloods. It's a bad day for you. It's a bad day every time you step outside. It's a bad day. You are one day away from them just all pulling up at the same time. To evil's argument is a cop out when the evil in question is a side. 
And I think just mounting that pressure on her and knowing that that is a red line and that is what your vote counts on is ultimately what will sway her decision. And I think the state of your politics being the lesser of two evils every four years is just shambolic. She doesn't even have and, and notice she says the state of your politics, which makes me correct. She doesn't even have a stake in this. She has no stake in this whatsoever. And continues down this weird di dialogue. Like, we don't care what you're talking about. I'm only finishing your video so you can't and nobody else can say that I'm being, I'm putting words in your mouth. The policies listed on her campaign page. Supremacy and imperialism needs to be dismantled no matter what face they put on it. Black, brown, white, Asian, queer. I'm not sorry for the video that I made and I do stand by my words, but I am sorry to that. Nigga, what was the point of this whole video then? You could have just not said anything at all. You didn't even mean your apology. I stand by my what? African American community, the brown, white, Asian, queer. The video that I made, and I do uh, stand by my words, but I am sorry to the African American community that that is what that one phrase invoked when I said it. There's nothing that I can say or do that people won't twist or people won't be happy with. So I'm shut up. Go back on my views on Kamala Harris just because I've upset the internet because that's just how I feel, and going back on it would be disingenuous and not a true reflection of my feelings. Okay. He's saying that I don't like Kamala Harris. Okay, look. I'm okay with her standing 10 toes, and I wanted to be clear. I'm okay with her and anybody standing 10 toes on what you said. I'm okay with that. I'm 110% okay with that. But don't. Oh, we. This and that isn't me telling you to not vote or to go and vote Donald Trump. I would never ever discourage anyone from voting. Even in the UK, I have discouraged people from not voting. I've never once blamed African Americans or even liberals for being stuck with two really shitty choices. I do think that the narrative being pushed out that she will be better for the Palestinians compared to Trump when a lot of Palestinians don't feel that way is wrong. I also don't think it's fair to tell people who are having to cope and essentially feel completely helpless at watching their people get massacred at the hands of her administration to... High take. High take. Extremely high take. I have two of them. One, only thing you can control is your voting. So make your vote count. But oh wait, you don't have a you don't have a vote here. So talk to your own people here and make sure they vote in Congress people, okay? Because you, you seem to just lack full understanding of how our government works. Elect congressmen and uh and senators that can help you. Okay. House of Representatives has member 435 members. Get y'all some seats. The Senate has, excuse me, has a hundred seats. Get y'all some seats. Then you can push better an agenda that helps your people. For sure, you'll get more. Now, my real hot take, not that all the idiots have left the room. Go help them. Literally, pack your shit, go help. You yelling on the internet is not doing a damn thing. It's not doing a damn thing for them. If you're not voting in your own UK stuff, you're not helping them. If you're not donating your money, which I would love to see it, you ain't helping nobody. You're just complaining. You're just a standard internet person that has a platform and a voice now. You want to help your people, go do it. Any complaints I have about the black community, I try and make it better. I try and get involved and actually do something about it. Because that's how you affect change. You do something.
You can't speak it. You're not God. You can't speak it as as though it was and it and it, and it becomes. You ain't got it. We ain't got it. Actions. Actions are what matters. Do more. Because you're not doing enough. You're just yelling online. Straight up. Vote her, otherwise you've got some self-interest. I don't think there's anybody that can judge you for that, even if they don't do that themselves. Just don't defend her with the she wants a ceasefire and she'll be better for Gaza. I don't think it's fair. Trump said flatten. She says ceasefire. America, in the comments, this is what I want if you made it to this point in the video. Ceasefire or getting wiped, flattened. Okay? Which would you rather have happen to your people in your city? Your city is flattened, your people are flattened, or there's a ceasefire and nobody's getting shot anymore. No more explosions, no more nothing. Ceasefire, flattened. Ceasefire, flattened. Y'all choose. Y'all choose. It's 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 not hard to see which one's better. It's not hard. If you tell me I'm gonna step on your foot, or I'm gonna stop people from stepping on your foot. Stop people from stepping on my foot, please. That's simple. To infantilize her when she has very clearly stated that she stands with Israel. A young girl collecting funds to plant trees for Israel to my time in the United States Senate and out of the way. Mm-hmm. To the existence of the state of Israel, to its security, and to the people of Israel. She has very clearly stated that she won't impose an arms embargo. And she was up. That's, that's because, again, like I said, they got other ops. And because they have other ops. And those ops are focused on them. It almost behooves us so we don't have to lose American soldiers uh, and and countrymen to just pay somebody else to deal with them and keep them occupied. That's how that works strategically. You just pay people money and like and give them resources and keep keep them keep them occupied. And that's it. So bought out for five million dollars by APAC. It's very clear where she stands. I will not be talking about the situation anymore because also, also very funny here. Um also, and I have the same problem with black people. Um what have you given to this person so they go your way? I mean, it's a sad state of affairs that politicians are bought. Is a sad state of affairs. However, that's the system. So, uh, did you did you donate anything to our campaign? You know, anything anything substantial? Did y'all gather together? No, no, you didn't. You didn't before then. You ain't now. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I say the same thing to black people all the time. You got to play the game. That's just the state that we're in. We got to play the game. We are not. There's no point that anybody is militant enough to make this happen. Nobody is willing to make those sacrifices. Nobody is. Nobody is. Flat. Nobody is. I'm not only on the receiving end of the most horrific abuse, but my safety is also being threatened. I'll continue to use my platform to advocate for people. Wait, 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 what? My safety is... Your safety is at risk with the crap you're posting. Be careful what you post and do or do better um, to keep your personal info from, from being easily accessible online. Oh. To being threatened. Yeah, that's... I'll continue to use my platform yeah, people to advocate are weirdos. for people's rights and for those less fortunate. I will use my time to highlight more important issues and... I will absolutely be blocking anybody who is being disrespectful or just trying to drag this out. I don't think that this video will make anything better, but it's worth a try. So I just want to say again, I'm sorry to the African-American community for 
the use of that word for any <laughs> She couldn't even look into the camera straight. Anytime somebody's lying or they don't mean it, they look up. When you're reaching for words and it's not heartfelt, you you look up. If you notice, I look mostly into the camera or I'm trying to like look to the look to the side like kind of like give the perception that I'm looking at the video. Um, you know what I'm saying? Or sometimes I look down here, which that's my phone. Um, and and that's it. Just to be honest, that's that's how I make my videos, right? You know, and I try my best to not like do a whole bunch of edits or whatever because I want you to feel me and I want you to know what I'm saying comes from my heart. She couldn't even do that back there. That's why I start laughing. She she just couldn't even look you dead in the eye and mean what she was saying. Anywho, anywho, with that being said, um, I do have one more video for us, you know, because I'm not I'm not dragging this out to another part. We're just going to finish it here. Uh, this is Ash Bay. This is a different content creator. Um, I do want to say this about her and the other one. Um, they're both really cute to me. And I'm be honest. If I did, if the other one, like I didn't know anything she said. Right. Let's just say I like I, I went to the UK and I like ran into her or whatever. like. I'd ask for a number. Like, I'd forget about this TikTok shit. I wouldn't even remember. I'd just go, oh, you kind of look for me. But I would not remember this. I'd, I'd ask for a number. Same with this girl. Same with this girl. The topic of solidarity between Black folks and Palestinians has existed since the inception of the State of Israel and the Nakba. And the issue of Black and Palestinian liberation not only mirror each other, but are inextricably linked in their histories. Support for the freedom of Palestinians has been an element of the Black Panther Party, of the Black Lives Matter movement, of the ending of apartheid in South Africa. Nelson Mandela, after his release from prison in 1990, embraced Yasser Arafat. In 1997, he said, we know our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestinians. In the 1950s, Malcolm X was one of the first Black Americans to show support for the Palestinian cause and said Black Americans would show complete sympathy with the Arab cause. Several months before his assassination, he visited the Gaza Strip and was completely critical of Israel. The Black Panther Party considered Black Americans to be internally colonized and stated that Black Americans and Palestinians were essentially treated as third world peoples who were oppressed by colonialism and imperialism. I don't have any disagreements with anything she's saying thus far. I'm just letting y'all know. Um, that's why I'm letting her go because nothing she's saying is factually incorrect. There's nothing factually incorrect, um, at least historically before this time. Um, and I, I want to I want to end this video on like a more peaceful note. So I'm gonna let it continue. Them together. In more recent history, in 2014, in the Ferguson Uprising, Palestinians online showed support, expressed solidarity, and offered advice to protesters in Ferguson. And there were chants that gained prominence at this time, from Ferguson to Pal Hey, so listen. What's interesting here is, bro, bro, man, that, that COVID uh blm protests like times were crazy because i remember sitting online and reading uh like people in hong kong giving their advice you know what i'm saying of protest to protesters like hey this is what you do for tear gas and this is what you do to avoid the different things that people throw at you like always keep an umbrella like it was, it was, it was all this stuff it was all this stuff like they just had all this advice um, and then Palestine, Palestinians, they did have advice too. I just don't remember exactly what they were, but I do remember that account from Hong Kong because I was following them before they, uh, they, they had to delete their account because Hong Kong became a part of the mainland. Um, but yeah, they, they, uh, they had some good things they want, they were saying. Palestine occupation is a crime. 
these liberation movements have been linked for decades. And this mm -hmm. is kind of the first time that we're seeing such a divide where we're being told that our values don't align with one another. And that is not the case. Both of these groups are aware that we're in a lose-lose situation with this current election. On one hand, we have Trump, who we are very aware is not good for Palestinians or for Black Americans. And on the other hand, we have Kamala Harris, who has also proven that she is not good for Palestinians or Black Americans. Okay. 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 If you read... um like things at face value and don't research them. Sure. You could say that she's not good for black Americans. However, um, upon my own research, um, and I was supposed to be making a, a video saying, um, uh, like, sorry, Kamala Harris or something. Sorry, Kamala, whatever. Like I had the video, like idea conceptualized. And then I just, I don't know why I, I just never made it out. It is never made it out to you guys. Um, but I could say for a firm fact, um, She's not against black people at all, at all, at all. Um, you know, she just did her job and enforced the policies that were on the books. That's all she did. She just did her job. And a lot of those cases that people are attributing to her, um, that she was she wasn't the D, she was a higher DA then. So she wasn't the one like dealing with all these cases. She didn't actually personally persecute any of these people. So make it make sense to me. That's all I'm saying. Just make it make sense to me. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. And it's it's one of those things like people just have to accept like it's it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like uh that that she's not that she didn't she didn't get it right then. It's okay that she didn't get it right then. But she got it right, she got it right later. And that's okay. That's what you want people to do. You want people to grow and you want them to become better. That's what she did. She grew and became better. You know, um, and I would and I would say that for as far as black people go, like she's not a bad for us. She's either neutral, 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 good or good. But she's not she's not she's not negative. She's not a negative. You know what I'm saying? She's not neutral, neg, or none of that. She's neutral, neutral, positive, new, new, and good. That's it. Um, for Palestinian issues, um, she's kind of still neutral, bad, or bad. It it, it, it it just can sit can, can it's like where you end up on that scale. You know what I'm saying? But we're in full agreement that Trump is just bad, bad. He's just bad and bad for both groups. Um yeah, I'm I'm finna sneeze. Oh God. Ah. And we're sitting here so incredibly divided over what the right answer is when there's no clear answer for anybody. It doesn't turn out good for anybody. I mean, I have seen so much division on this app in the last couple of days. I think we need to sit down and have more open and honest. Okay, look. Look, here's the thing. Black people didn't start this. That was your own people. We don't need open and honest dialogue because the black position has not changed at all. We're in the same place we were before. What you need to do is get your band of, band of merry men together and figure out what's going on with y'all. That's what you need to do. You need to figure it out. You need to figure it out. You need to figure it out. Just straight up. You need to figure it out. Conversations about how this election cycle impacts different minority communities. What they are afraid of is our unity. And we talk so much about harm reduction. I think the most harm reductive thing we could do is put our collective voices together and use them to pressure her campaign to actually vote in the interests of the American people, to adopt policies that we want to see on our ballots, rather than just blindly following her platform as it is currently. We can say we intend to vote for Kamala Harris, but demand that she do better for Palestinians and for Black Americans. He ended on such a good note. 
She ended on such a good note. I have no problems with what she said at the end there. Because yeah, we could. We could ask for more. We could we could make her do more. We could we could say, yo, this ain't enough. We need you to do more. We could do that. We could do that. But listen, I I'm, I'm be honest. I'm gonna be fully, fully transparent. Right now, right now, and just with the state of the culture. The state of black people in general, like I, I'm 110 percent focused on us doing better. We can't help nobody if we're not doing better. So we have to vote for the option that gets us better. We have to push our own agendas and policies at the forefront. We can't prioritize somebody else over a situation that ain't that technically ain't our. I'm going to catch hell for saying this. But it's technically not our problem. Like we we can't go we can't downsize ourselves, you know what I'm saying, put ourselves on a back burner any longer for anybody else's cause. We're always there championing everything with everybody else. But when it comes to us, when it comes to us, the energy's not the same. The energy's not the same. I don't care how y'all say it. I don't know how you think about it. It's just not the same. So black people, we know what to do. I ain't got to say it. We know what to do. And also, I want to say that um, her video, uh, the last girl, her video, Ash Bay, underscore Ash Bay, was made before um, Kamala's platform put out an actual, pla- Kamala's campaign put out an actual platform. Um, and the platform's available now. It's on it's on the internet, um, on her website. So if you want to go check it out, you can you can go check it out. I think it's what KamalaHarris.org, something like that. I think it's KamalaHarris.org. Um, and boom, you, you'll you'll get her her stuff. Uh, anyway, that's my time. I'm about to here. If you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. I ain't doing no more of these. I'm out.